Hi, teacher. Okay, hello. I was just fixing some some things here. Hello, teacher. Oh, hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Great. Okay, good. good. Just, um, here we go. Okay, good. Hello, Jenny. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Good. Ready. The okay. Rested. Relaxed. Nice. Good. Yeah. Back. Back to daily life. Okay. Nice. And you, Oscar? No problem. <clears throat> Hi, teacher. Hello. Everything Hello. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. How about you, Reina? Hello, teacher. Hello. How's everything? Good. Are you okay? Happy? Tire. You want more um, more vacation? No, no more. Sufficient. Okay. How about you, Jocelyn? Hello, teacher. Hello. How the vacation? Hi, Hello, Ivania. So we have Jennifer too, Brandon, then we have Reina on the other side. Milagro, hello, Milagro. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Okay. Yes, okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so we have a couple of things to do today. Okay, so last, uh, well, two weeks last class we were here we had uh, we finished the section three <clears throat> we checked the, a little bit of the midterm test and now we have the section four okay the section four starts with uh, an objective that says that uh, by the end of this class, the students uh, will have, or the participants will learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid, okay? So we're going to talk a little bit about a food, okay? You will also learn how to, how to express the food that you like and dislike, okay? So this is, uh, we are going to be talking about what kind of food we enjoy and what kind of food we do not enjoy. Okay, so that's the that's the section for about. Okay, uh, for example, the what kind of food or what did you eat during the vacation? For example, the you ate, did you eat the torrejas or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, so that's one uh, that is a must, right? It's an obligation to have some, at least one torreja during this week. Also, we have, um, what else? Uh, uh, probably dry fish, okay, dry fish, stuffed, you know, como rellenos de, de pescado seco, they call it, right? You know, but they stuff it, and then, uh, then also is a nice sauce 
and very delicious. I like it. I like it. What else? Um, what is other food that we eat during these days or in the normal, normal diet in our lives? For example, we have uh, different kinds of food that we taste, right, every day with cheese, milk, coffee, um, fruit, okay? fruit, meat, okay? so all this kind of uh, things that we eat. We also drink, okay, drink, we drink water, well, we drink sodas, right? We also drink um, a coffee, uh, we drink uh, wine, sometimes wine, right? Or sometimes also beer. Um, what else? Uh, soda, water, uh, refreshments, juice. Okay, so these are the different kinds of drinks. Different kinds of drinks. What else? What else? How do you say mango? In miel, teacher. Ah, okay, then you say, for example, the ma I just say, for example, mango is the same, right? Then you can say, for example, mangoes in, but this is um, a, in candy, right? In candy, porque es como un dulce atado, right? So what they call. So it would be candy, okay. mangoes, uh -huh. yes. That's one, delicious mm -hmm. mangoes. Eh, jocotes too, jocotes is the, it's tropical food, so it's basically the same meaning too. Okay, what else? So these are you know the different kinds of of food that we have, right? Uh, let me see. Now we have the next. When I watch the video for the for the vocabulary they present. In the, in the program, right? In the program that we have. Then you check if, see if there is a new word or new vocabulary that you don't know. And then you let me know, okay? Now, first, uh, just let me check one thing. So I'm supposed to be sharing the, the sound. Okay, here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Meat and other protein. Fish, beans. Nuts, chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, Vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. 
we will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all this stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and co-workers. And think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes. After you complete this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, yes. Oranges. Strawberries. Lettuce. Tomatoes. Potatoes, cereal, rice, noodles. Okay, apparently, this is the no mejor visión que tenemos, right? Okay, so we have here, for example, on the button, at the bottom, okay, al final de la the la image right bottom fondo this is the middle and the top okay top middle and bottom in the bottom we have the grains and the grains we have the bread okay bread eh, que está hecho de harina o trigo right so it's un grano eh, cereal crackers rice noodles and pasta. Okay, questions with this vocabulary? Okay, the next one is the okay. okay, good. Then we have the fruit. And the fruit we have bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries and mangoes, okay? Strawberries and mangoes. You can see the pictures, the images. Fruit, grains, and then we have, on the other side, we have the vegetables, okay? Vegetables, we have the broccoli, carrots, lettuce, potatoes, tomatoes, and broccoli again. Okay, in the next one, we have meat and other protein. Okay, protein, uh, proteinas, right? Meat and other protein, we have the fish, beans, chicken, nuts, eggs, beef. And then we have the dairy, is yogurt, milk, and cheese. And then we have the fat, oil, and sugar. We have potato chips, oil, butter, a candy, and cream. Teacher butter is mantequilla, okay? Yes, that's correct. Correct, correct. What else? Okay, now we have and 
potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this, um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. He doesn't like cheese. Okay, so then there you have uh, three different sentences, okay? This is what we're going to practice. For example, what you like. For example, I like cream, butter, oil, candies, uh, I don't know, uh, ice cream, ice cream. Uh, you can also say, for example, the um, bananas, uh, different fruit, apples. Uh, I don't like I don't like pasta very much. I like pasta, but a little, not too much. Okay, only special uh, special occasions with a special preparation. Okay, so that's what I like the, the pasta. And then um, what, what else? I don't like. Um, let me see. Lettuce, tomatoes. Mm. And broccoli. Broccoli. I like broccoli. Some people don't like. Teacher. Yes. I don't like berenjena. Ah, the eggplants. You don't like eggplants? ¿Cómo? Eggplants. Egg. Con G. Yes. Ed. Podría escribirlo. Are you going to chat? The chat box. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Eggplants, plural. Singular eggplant. Okay, like if it is an egg. Mm. Como que fuera una planta de huevo. <laughs> right? Similar. Um, I yeah. prefer broccoli and eggplant. Okay, so you like, you like eggplants. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. I like eggplant too. Eggplant is... It's a, it's a delicious one. Okay, Jocelyn, having problems with the internet. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jocelyn. Si que aquí ha estado lloviendo también estaba. Okay, that could be one of the problems. Okay, good. Then uh, what else? What are some other things you like? What are some other uh, kind of food that you like? That you that you like. Well, things that you like, some things that you don't like. I like noodles. I like noodles, okay. Okay, I like noodles, that's a good one. Teacher, I yeah. like strawberry with cream. Oh yeah. No, and with, with sugar, you don't like them with sugar? Just uh, strawberry uh, sugar. With, yes. with sugar? Yes. Okay, delicious. <laughs> yes, strawberries, cream. With cream or only Strawberries and sugar, or strawberry with cream, delicious. Yes. What else? Teacher, I don't like broccoli. You don't like broccoli. Broccoli is good. All right. Uh, I like uh, bananas. I like orange. Um, and Oscar, apple. Oscar, do you like do you like um, a cauliflower? No. Cauliflower I, with uh, with cream. I don't like. Okay, so then um, this, let me. This is cauliflower with uh, cream. Okay, cauliflower with cream is delicious too. I like it. And 
let me see something that I don't. Okay, uh, for example, my my daughter. Okay, my daughter doesn't like. Liver. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Do you like liver? Do you like liver people? Do you like it? ¿Qué significa eso, teacher? Oops, no. Wait. No, 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 no. We wait. It's a little mistake, sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you like liver? No. Yes. Yes. So so. Yeah, it's good. You know, beef, uh, beef steak, como steak with uh, with uh, onion. Yes. Con con cebolla, right? With onion. It's it's delicious. Yes. Mm -hmm. Asado is also good. You know, broiled, broiled, roasted. Okay, broiled is good. Grilled. They have grilled también a la parrilla, and then it's, mm -hmm. it's good with lemon. Lemon is delicious. Okay. Yes, teacher. So then, for example, uh, then you can say, for example, my, my, my daughter, it doesn't like. Okay. That's a negative sentence about somebody else. Okay. What else? What is something else that, that you don't like very much or somebody else doesn't like? For example, the, we can say Oscar doesn't like uh, broccoli. Okay, Oscar doesn't like broccoli. Uh, Jenny likes eggplant. Okay, Jenny likes eggplant. Okay, you can say here. Jenny uh, likes eggplants. Okay. Oscar doesn't like doesn't like what? Doesn't like rock. And um, in Ivania, Ivania likes Ivania likes strawberries with cream. Okay. Chero likes the apple. Okay. Milagro likes apples. Okay. Milagro likes apples. Good. Okay, what else? Okay, we have some more food here that we can talk about. Like, what about the, for example, potato chips? Who likes potato chips? Who likes potato chips? Who likes potato chips okay you know some papitas right who likes potato chips for example i like potato chips but not so much okay not very much i mean a little me teacher okay yeah yeah that's good you know you like to eat I... that's nice I like... okay. what else 
Who else? Who else? Quem mais? I like the teacher. Okay, you too, Oscar. Okay. I like, I like. You like it very much or a little? Wait. Very much. Okay, that's nice. Okay, good. What else do we have? Very much. Who likes um, the, um, what else we have? Candy, who likes candy? Chocolate. Uh, well, mostly chocolate. What else? Uh, how do you call this one? The, oh my God. I forgot the little balls that are made of chocolate. How do you call this ones? Como que llaman aquellas chibolitas, botonetas, right? For example, those are candies. Uh, what else? Uh, who likes also, let's see, who likes, let me check, bread and butter, bread and butter. Who likes bread and butter? Bread and butter. Mm -hmm. Bread. Barra de chocolate. No, bread and butter. Butter. Look at this one. See the pointer of my mouse? Mm, no sé qué significa. Butter, aquí no lo ve. El, uh, mantequilla. Bread. Mm. Bread and butter. I don't like teacher. You don't like it. No, and coffee. Casi no. Casi no. Okay. All right. Good. I love it. I love it. Uh, cheese. Yogurt. Who likes yogurt? Who likes okay, yogurt? Teacher. Yes. Like okay. Good. Yes. And the, and the I like. You do? Okay. Yeah, that's nice. And, and the nuts. Who I'm gonna write this one? Who likes uh, nuts? Who likes nuts? Almonds, peanuts. Everybody likes almonds, peanuts. The seeds. Almonds? Mm -hmm. Almond. No, almonds. No. These are the, the ones that are in the tree that you can eat. They are very delicious. And the peanuts, like the elephants. The elephants eat peanuts. Um, let me see what else. Like the nuts. Mm -hmm. Not the nuts. Nuts, yes. What is the meaning, teacher? You don't know nuts? No. I know under Okay, nurses. Ah. Yes, nuts, okay. almendras, maní, fried the peanuts. Yes, yes, I like. Uh -huh. Yes, those are, for example, yes, the, like. the nuts is in general, right? The nuts is in general, nuts and todas las nueces van de muchas, pero en todas las semillas, right? Que son comestibles. Uh, for example, la almendra, then we have nuts, and but these are, for example, the, how do you call this one? Okay. Uh -huh. that's, that's, uh, those are the almonds, correct. Okay. Good. 
Then this is. Disculpe, teacher, ¿qué dijo de las semillas en general? No escuché bien. No, que the, the word nuts. The word nuts es. Eh, es para todas las semillas. Es para todas, todo lo que se refiere a semillas. Ajá. Okay. That's the one. Wait a minute, Miss Lynn. Yes, th these are, for example, for all the um, uh, for all the for all the, the seeds para todo lo que son semillas. Okay, Jocelyn. Wait a minute. Let's see. Is it raining? Okay. Good. What else? What else do we have? Thomas? Let me just let me check this. Good. Now the next one. We have this one. Okay, remember here we have cream. Okay, in general, here we have uh, candy, butter, uh, oil, and potato chips. Todo esto contiene grasa, aceite y azúcar. Fat, oil, and sugar. Uh, then we have only. I have yes. a question. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se diría los, los motes que se utilizan, por ejemplo, para las comidas? Por ejemplo, el cilantro, el apio. Algunas de, well, una de esas son celery, por ejemplo, el celery. El celery es el, el apio, right? And then we have the. We can make a list because there are many. There are para las especies son un montón. Le voy a hacer una listita corta para enviárselas con con su eh, eh, cómo que sea eh, traducción para que la puedan ver porque es, tendría que haber perejil. Okay, another one. So then that you can para que lo tengan escrito. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Okay, let me see what else. Let me see, let me see what else we have. Okay. Just let me do that. Just give me a second, go. Okay, and we're gonna go to the next one. Okay, Jennifer, can you say what you like? No, you can't. Mm. Pero, qué raro. Mm.
Okay, sorry. Then we have this one. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn um, what count and non-count uh, nouns are, okay? Additionally, you will learn how to use the expressions some and any. Okay, so this one is about singular and plural, right? And then uh, uh, we have, for example, this. Do you remember summing any, right? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically, anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart, you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. 
So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Good. All right, fine. Hey, hello, Jennifer. Hello. Hi, PJ. Okay. Now, yes, you can do it, right? Perfect. Uh, fine. Uh, then, what we're going to do is this. What do you need? Okay, let's see. Vamos a ver algunos. What do we need to make coffee? What do we need to make coffee? So what do you need to make a cup of coffee? Mm -hmm. To make a cup of coffee, you need what? Some, uh huh? Some um, some hot water. Okay. Is some uh, well, I'm gonna use instant coffee. some sugar and uh -huh, Jennifer yes some sugar uh, if you like some uh, cream a las que le gusta profanar el café pueden echarle la famosa cremora Okay, some cream, okay, cremita, right? Uh, also, you can use, what is the name of this? Some Baileys, okay. Good, what else? So this is what you need to make a cup of coffee, okay? This is to make a cup of coffee. You need some hot water, some sugar and some coffee, okay? Easy, not too complicated. Uh, what do you need to make an omelet? What do you need to make an omelet? You can write it there. Pueden escribir ahí. Para hacer una omelette. Cosas sencillas, right? Easy things. Cheese, yes. Uh -huh. What else? Mm -hmm. Some onion. Some onions, yes, some onion, yes. Acuérdense que aquí es al gusto, gusto al cliente, right? Algunos que le van a gustar vegetables, otros no, right? Eh, some eggs, Jennifer, some eggs, uh -huh. yes. Some eggs, some onion. Eh, we need also some, uh, what to say somebody that Milagro said, not cheese, uh -huh. cheese, eggs, aha, uh -huh, yes, some eggs. 
Infer some eggs and onions. What else? Some, some green pepper. Oh, no, say, I'll go see. Some green, green peppers. Uh -huh. Green peppers, chile verde. Oh, como, yes. Uh -huh, yes, green peppers. Oh, como se dice chile verde? Green peppers. Okay. Green peppers. Uh -huh. Tomatoes. We have the tomatoes. Yes, well, ham. Teacher. A moment, eh? Ham. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se diría pimienta, pimienta molida? Pepper. Pepper. Okay, esa misma pimienta, ¿eh? como los green peppers. Es la misma, ¿eh? es el mismo. Es que creo que la... Okay. El, El, hay un nombre que a los chiles que nosotros decimos chile verde le llaman en otros países le llaman pimentos right y hay como hay amarillos rojos verdes Entonces aquí solo ocupamos más que todo mm. verde sí. por eso es que viene la palabra de pimiento pimentos Entonces por eso es que se ve, por eso es que se ve la misma palabra y es lo mismo para pimienta pepper uh -huh. ah, pens yes. pensé que era diferente no no es exacto okay. lo único que cuando Cuando se refiere a pepper, a la pimienta solo se ocupa así como hasta abajo, pepper. Y si estamos hablando de, ah, de chiles, así o pimienta. ¿De chile? Ajá, se dice el green pepper. Se le agrega. El ah, okay. peppers, o solamente se dice peppers, pero se le pone la S. La pimienta, okay. que viene así en polvo molida, no tiene plural. Eso hace la diferencia. Ah, ok. Ok, good. Ok. Fine. What else? Aquí vamos a aprender a cocinar todo. Vamos a ver quién es el the leader. <laughs> the leader in cooking. Okay, what else? What else do we need? Okay. So imagine all simple omelette. You need cheese, eggs, eh, peppers, green peppers, tomatoes, ham, pepper too. Pepper too. And what else? Teacher, y, Oil. Uh -huh. y si quiero decir con poco a sal. Okay, uh, a little salt. Okay, un poquito sal, un poco de salt, a little salt. What else? Uh, teacher, song any oregano? Okay. So, for example, but uh, you're going to use this one? Uh, uh, some or any? Which one are you going to use? Affirmative or negative? Why teacher? Which one? Some, right? The oregano, as far as I'm concerned, hasta donde yo sé, es lo mismo, no cambia mucho, some oregano. Or just, um, yes, I think it's the same. What else do we have? Yes. What else do we need? Okay, I'm gonna make it more uh, extense. If we are going to make a party, suppose, imagine that we're going to make a party. We're going to make a party. Okay, where, where can we make the party?
in Oscar's house, um, Jennifer's house, where you suggest. So here in una casa para hacer la casa. It's not just an exercise. It's not true. Okay. Let's make a party at house. Okay. Just give me the name. Reina's house, Milagro's house, Jenny's house, Jocelyn's house. Okay, we're gonna choose Jenny's house. Okay, Jenny. Okay. If we're going to make a party okay. in your house, what do we need? Um, some, some gloves. Come on, say gloves. Yes, some gloves. Okay, some uh, balloons. You mean balloons, right? The, the heels. Yes. 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 Okay, so um, some candy, some candy, candy, candies. Okay, people, help. Los demás, ¿qué más necesitamos? Ahí Jenny nos va a decir si ya tiene en la casa, no lo vamos a llevar, pero no tiene si lo llevamos. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay some sodas. Yes. Yes. Okay, some sodas. What else? Uh, some pizza. Some pizza. Or hamburger. Pizza or... Oh. No, and. Okay. And. Yes. <laughs> yes, and more hamburger. And hamburgers, okay. You see, some pizza and hamburgers. Okay. What else? Some music. Some music. Is it necessary the music, Jenny, or do you have music in your house? Um, um, Jenny, do you have music? Do you have music in your house, Jenny? Yes, teacher. Okay, so we don't need uh, any music. Okay, because, porque ya la tienen en casa, Jenny, right? Yes, we have some, we need some balloons. Okay, you're gonna use this one, what do we need? Okay, balloons, candies, sodas, pizza, and hamburgers. But we don't need any music because she has music in the house. What else? Help me, people. Uh, the church. Or some gift, some gifts, gifts. some gifts, mm -hmm. yes, gifts, yes. Uh, people, es necesario llevar regalos. Of course. No, huh? What kind of party is it? Que no dijimos que qué tipo de fiesta es. <laughs> okay. <laughs> si es una solo una fiesta de reunión de amigos, right? Then podemos pero podemos usar el ejemplo de we don't need we don't need any gift. We don't need to take on party. We don't need to you don't need to take any gifts. No necesitamos llevar regalos. Okay? Eh, 
aunque esto les diré, eh, en muchos lugares se acostumbra a llevar, en algunos lugares se acostumbra a llevar algo al anfitrión de la casa, right? No es, sí, sí. Ajá, no es en todos los lugares que se acostumbra, but es un detalle. You don't need to take any gifts, pero si se pone así, digamos, en, de antemano en la regla de, de la fiesta, no. Okay, so we don't need any gifts. Eh, what else? What else? What else? Food, food, food. Um, the snacks, teacher. Okay, yes. We need. Eh, aquí sería some, right? Some snacks. Some snacks. Yes, because we have sodas, hamburgers, balloons, candies. Uh, what else? What else, what else? What else do we need to take? Let me see. We have balloons, candies, sodas, pizza, hamburger, snacks. Uh, we need some uh, music we don't need because they have it. We don't need to take gifts. Okay, so we're ready. Any more food? Um, yes, is for children. Ah, okay, if you take children. Pasta, okay. Chicken, yes, we need, we need um, hot dog, yes. um, sandwich, we need some cookies, some cakes, some cake and cookies. I like that one, yes. Some cake and cookies. Okay. Uh, sure. Which one? It's so um, cake and cookies and 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 hot dogs too, right? Yeah, because children like hot dogs a lot. Okay. So then, this is for example, you know, practicing some food because this is what we we'll, what we have, and what we don't need. Uh, also, this one, uh, what you can see here is, for example, that if you go to uh, the kitchen to see the, okay, let me see the, remember cupboard? ¿Qué es un cupboard? ¿Se recuerdan? Refrigerator. Refrigerator, refrigerator. Okay, para practicar durante el día, cuando puedan, pueden ir ahí a la cocina, a tu casa y decir, my cupboard. Okay, I need, for example, some eh, Maggi soups. Okay. Okay, let's say, for example, eh, some Maggi soup, you don't have. Okay, so you can say, for example, we, I need some maggi soup, pasta, probably um, beans, okay, probably rice, okay, sugar, okay, sugar, um, coffee. coffee, yes, essential. Water. Uh -huh, you can say milk, milk. Uh -huh. milk, okay. Como va a ser la lista del super, right? And then in the refrigerator, probably you need uh, a cheese, okay, some, um, for example, Egg. yes, I need some cheese, Eggs, probably fruit, 
vegetables. Apple. Uh -huh, vegetables. More specific, apples. Uh -huh. A pine pineapple. Pina, right? Pineapple. Um, ham. Come on, right? Uh, what else? What else? What else? Apart from the ham. Potato. Potatoes. Okay. Banana. Bananas too. Chocolate. Uh, cho yes, chocolate. Choco chocolate. Yes. That's another one. Tomatoes. And tomatoes. Tomato. Tomatoes. Yes. There you go with the tomatoes. Yo te voy a comer, dice. Las. Las cebollas. Onions. 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 Mangoes. Okay, there you go with the mangoes. Yeah. Uh, lettuce. La lechuga, right? Lettuce. Broccoli. Broccoli. Uh, cauliflower. Yeah, yes, the cauliflower, the uh, egg, clam, egg, egg plants, um, egg plants, egg, it's a lot here, egg, egg plants, green peppers, peppers and so on okay so this is you know uh, like if you go and make a, a little list okay of the things that you need in the cupboards the refrigerator and what it is inside the refrigerator okay so the Okay, yeah, this is the, okay, for, uh, this is for the countable, and say count and non-count nouns, okay? So tomorrow we are going to make the difference. There are some things that we can count and some other things that we cannot count, okay? Some things have plural and other things don't have a plural. So that's what we're going to uh, double check tomorrow. Okay, people, it was very nice to, again, it was good to, to have you back. Espero que hayan disfrutado sus vacaciones. Pues ya estamos de nuevo, okay? Eh, recuerden que esta semana vemos la sesión 4. La próxima semana es la última. Bueno, vemos la 4 y... Creo que vamos a, a iniciar las cinco para que nos quede un poquito de tiempo la próxima de ver el examen final del día jueves, ¿ok? Ok, people, so have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Ok, teacher. See you, teacher. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye.